play better defense. Buckle up for LeBron James. <laughs> LeBron, nobody home. Bye-bye. A throwdown of the fiercest kind. James Owen. the extra gear from the LeBron. My, my goodness. To the rim, and it counts and the foul. LeBron James with a sensational move. James up and under, throws it off the backboard. Oh, what a perfect pass to himself. How about this play by LeBron James? Uh-oh. That's LeBron James with authority, and they're standing here in Miami. James on the drive! Two on one, here's McGinnis with the high dribble to turn oh. it, James! Oh. <laughs> yes, and the foul! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video, man. We are back on the LeBron James build. It seems like every video, that's all I see in the comments. What happened to LeBron build? Is LeBron build good? Can it shoot? Did you get it to 99? Did you get the badges maxed out? We got it to 99. We got the badges maxed out. And here we go. 99 overall facilitating finisher. LeBron James build in NBA 2K21. I'm going to answer all your questions in this video, man. As you can see, 99 overall. We got maxed out attributes. I mean, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I'm going to be honest with y'all. It's not as good as last year, in my opinion, because you don't get the good dribble moves. The shooting is way less consistent, but this build is still fun to play on. I will say that. It is fun to play on because you catch bodies. You catch absolute bodies on this build, but as you're going to see in the gameplay, you have to have teammates that are willing to kind of mold the game plan around you because you're limited in some aspects of the game, man. But check this out. 99 overall, LeBron James build. Here's what I need you to do. Go down to the comments right now and comment what my next build should be. I have my, you know, my speed boosting pure sharp build. I got my LeBron James build. Both of them are maxed out. What build do you want to see next? What type of player, what position, what archetype, etc., etc. Comment that down below for me and while you're down there bro if you like the video guess what you should do you should like you should drop a you if you like the video you should like the video you know what i mean all right so let me quickly answer all the questions i've been getting about this build okay because last year honestly it wasn't the meta but you could use this build in every comp scenario twos threes pro-am as you guys saw at the end of the year you could use this build against comp and actually perform can you do that this year? Let's break it down. So the first thing, the big hit on this build this year was the fact that they made it, you needed 85 ball handling to get pro dribble moves. As you can see, I can move decent with normal dribble moves, but it's just not the same. Now, the strengths of the build driving is really, really good. Like you get blow by animations and you get contact dunks all over place now shooting as you can see we pull up from three and we actually knock down a corner three here now a 67 three-pointer this year as of right now it's not super consistent because one i only get gold shooting badges if you get hall of fame i've seen people like zernick the center that uh ticino plays with he shoots with a high 60s three ball but he has hall of fame shooting badges which matters and the other thing i'm gonna say is i don't have hot spots on this build yet as you can see bodies for days but i don't have hot zones all right and i'm gonna be honest with you even last year if i didn't have hot zones on my lebron james build he was very inconsistent you know this shot will be green next shot will be a brick next shot will be a white next shot will be a brick you i can't be i can't really fully judge it until i get hot spots everywhere once i have hot spots then i could be the judge of it but i'm gonna be honest the way the game is this year I'm going to say I'm not going to be super consistent shooting on this build. So it forces me to drive all the time. And as you're going to see in some of these gameplays, people just try to put the center in the paint, which is why I said, I mean, yeah, you could catch a body on a but That's why I said your, your teammates have to be able to adjust to your play style. So like the way we're playing here, I mean, yes, I mean, you see the bodies, the body. <laughs> Anyways, the way we're playing here, I'm trying to get into the paint. And then our center is setting an off ball for my teammate. Who's a pure sharp. And like he, you know, he dexes around the screen. He does this, that, you know what I mean? Like that works. But if you're just playing with randoms, it's going to be tough to play on this build. I'm going to be honest. Like you're really going to have to get teammates that will adjust 
to your play style. Like, since I have a really good shooter with me, they have to guard him, and then if my center sets the off ball, then it leaves me 1v1, and I can basically drive in the paint or look to be a, you know, look to be a facilitator, look to be a playmaker. Like, look it. I'm running flashy passer hall of fame. So as you can see, one flashy pass, we get like my sharp has a bunch of takeover. Another flashy pass. He could pop his takeover right now. But I'm like, you know what? Now one more flashy pass. He pulls up, knocks it down, and then check it out. Team takeover. But that's all because of our play style. You know what I mean? Like we specifically have these builds out here molded around my build. Like if you were just playing with randoms and they didn't really know what you were trying to do, they might be clogging the paint. They might expect you to shoot threes all the time you see the euro step oh my god but they might be expecting you to shoot threes all the time and i'm gonna be honest this year that is not it last year on my lebron build i was pulling threes consistently but that's also with hot zones as i said so until i really get hot spots everywhere i can't really be the full judge but i'm just gonna say the way shooting is this year it's not gonna be super consistent all right but as i say every year listen if you play with a little bit of iq and you and your teammates work together, you can make any build work, especially in the park. You know what I mean? The park is very RNG. There's a lot of fluky things that can happen. So as long as you got like a decent team strategy and you guys are working together, you know, understanding what each other's builds are capable of, you could play on any build, win consistently and have a good time. And that's what it's about. You know what I mean? Like just making a meta build that everybody else in the game plays on. I guess some people have fun with it for me i would much rather make these unique builds and actually have to try to like play a little bit unique as opposed to just do what everybody else does but that's just my opinion i would recommend i have the most fun when i just play on whatever build i want and not just copy you know whatever the most popular build is just make that make your own builds man be creative make your own builds if like i said as long as you got a little bit of iq come up with a strategy that fits whatever build you're playing on you know your teammates make builds that you know you guys all work together you'll be you'll be fine this game right here is a perfect example like these dudes are sweating they're they're trying to double team our sharpshooter they put their you know their paint beast in the paint to try to make me have to go up against the paint beast this is a back and forth type of game but we're using our builds to the fullest like okay i'm not gonna take the chance of trying to go up on the paint beast every single possession so you see right here i'll go up on him but for the most part i'm just looking to facilitate use my dimer my floor general all that stuff to try to hook up my my sharpshooter with open looks look it we get the steal i'm gonna run in i see the dex corner i use my playmaking he uses his sharpshooting and we end up beating the sweats and we're running a very non-meta lineup like we have a play slash my build we have a pure red paint beast and then we have a pure green sharpshooter we have no playmaking shot creator we have no you know bp type of guard build we have a non-meta lineup but we're out here streaking in the park and you guys could do exactly the same as i said and it makes you be a little bit more creative with your play style it's not just like you know run left fade run right fade you actually got to play a little bit and that's why we play 2k but look it i really need y'all boys help i need y'all to give me build suggestions in the comment section all right because i don't really know where i want to go if i want to make a center i feel like i might get bored on a center though i want to make some type of unique build so if you guys have some suggestions definitely leave them down below make sure if you see a build that you would want to see me play on you guys like it up so it ends up at the top of the comment section so that i could check it out because i'm telling you I already got my guard build max. I got my LeBron build max. I need something new to play on. You guys know I get bored if I play on the same build every day. I've been streaming on Twitch pretty consistently. Last week, I think I streamed four or five days. I just streamed last night. I need new builds to grind while I'm streaming on Twitch and hanging out with y'all, man. So definitely let me know what build y'all want to see. And also, if you haven't liked the video already, make sure y'all drop a like for me. But check this out. We are going to be ending this game off, and that completes our 10-game win streak. I was like, you know what? For this video, for my 99 LeBron build, let me just get 10 games of clips and just show y'all what this build is about. In my opinion, as I said, it's they, they really tried to kill it. I could still make it work, but it's just not the same as it was last year. Last year, the build was way better, in my opinion. It's just this year they limited it too much with the dribble moves, with the inconsistent shooting. I mean, we're still catching bodies left, right, and center, but overall, the build's just not what it was last year. You can make it work and you can have fun on it, but it's just not, it's just not what it was. And honestly, it's a little disappointing because that build last year was by far my favorite build. But as you can see, we beat these dudes 22-16. That is a nice little 10-game win streak, man. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed the video. This has been 99 overall. 
LeBron James build in NBA 2K21. Now y'all know what it's capable of, what it's not capable of. Drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new. I'll catch y'all on the next one. I'm out. Peace.